Goon Squad. Goon Squad. So what's up with the Goon Squad? We are the Goon Squad and we're coming to town. Hello and welcome to Straight Trip and today we have a fun little role with John, a purple belt versus me, a purple belt. John weighing in around 160 pounds, I'm weighing in around 175 and I immediately dive for a knee bar that John sees coming from a mile away and triangles his legs so I can't get it. Sits up to my butterfly guard here and now I am trying to... Uh, Two on one, his right arm, and see if I can pull him forward and elevate into a heel hook. But he's too savvy for that kind of nonsense. Savvy? Savvy. So he stands up and backs out of my butterfly guard and then tries to knee slide through. I try to elevate with the butterfly, and so he does a back step. And now it looks like he's trying to go for a knee bar, which is bad idea so I roll him down onto the ground here and he tries to go for an arm bar since my arm was exposed I am trying to protect my arm here and just being patient because he's got a decent grip on it but it's not quite where he needs it to be so I'm just patiently waiting here and sliding my arm out slowly until I get it behind his knee and now I feel pretty comfortable that he's not going to be able to get the arm bar. I wipe the sweat off my brow. You want to wipe the sweat off punk you ask me first. I turn into him get my arm out of there and now I start climbing on top here. John does a good job getting onto his side I'm using uh, frames here to keep me back and he's looking for a Kimura but he's not going to come over me from this position without setting it up first. So I just protect my arm, keeping it low. And he ends up trying to switch to the other side. I'm much more comfortable on this side anyway, so I'll take it. Just take it! Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it! Take it! And now he is again cross-facing me, and I'm just laying on top. And I'm perfectly fine with somebody cross-facing me in this position here. I'll just lay on their arms until they start getting tired and then go for an attack. So, John's pretty scrappy. He's putting up a little bit of resistance here. But eventually, I managed to climb up a little bit higher. And what is happening here is that he's getting his arms low onto my hips to be able to frame. And so I decided to go for a little bit of a punch choke just to distract him and try to get some control of his arms. I have him flattened out a little bit now, so I'm feeling a little bit better about myself. And I almost uh, get a gift wrap, but he manages to get his arm back. And now I'm trying to walk his arm up to go for an arm triangle as per usual. And he ends up bridging a little bit. I'm hopping to full mount. And now I'm just going to mash his face a little bit. You got mashed! Give him uh, something to think about. And he's starting to scramble a little bit, exposing his back a little bit, doing things that he shouldn't be doing. But then he starts looking for this uh, lockdown. Bridge is hard. And every time he does a little bridge like that i kind of like have to reset and get my balance back and that's a buying him time every time he does that but it is tiring he goes belly down here and i swing around to the other side but terrible terrible positioning on my part i really need to get my head underneath so let's take a look at it quickly here again so i've got a bit of a meat hook going on here i'm trying to get him belly down and then I jump around to the other side, but you can see my head is kind of like on top of John's head where it should be underneath acting like a pillow for him so he can't get his head and shoulders to the mat like he's doing right now because that is the escape. Oh, didn't see that one coming. Did you see that one coming? So kudos to John for doing the correct escape and me being an idiot and not getting my head in the proper position. I get him belly down again here. I really want to do a Hicks and choke. I've been looking at it and thinking about it and trying it on people but getting nowhere near uh, and you know it takes time to, to get stuff figured out especially on good training partners like John is he's turning back into me now framing me shield pushing me back a little bit and I need to just take a second here just back up a minute and to try to figure out a way to get past his knee shield 
So I go uh, reverse Kisakatami here. <laughs> <laughs> and I start climbing up slowly, uh, incrementally driving his arms up so he's no longer got those frames to push against. But that's time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you like that sort of shit. Thank <laughs> you.